We are going to use example number 17, first of all. So step one is to move the constant terms to the other side. In this case, we need to move that 53. So we're going to add it to both sides to move it. Okay, and when I do that, now usually we kind of delete that space that was just taken up by that 53, but I'm going to leave it because I'm getting ready to complete the square. So I'm going to leave that space, and then I'm going to go through the process of completing the square on the left side. So we've got 16 divided by 2 is 8. 8 squared is 64. Not only am I going to put that on the left side to complete the square, I can't change my equation. Okay, so if I add 64 to the right side, then to prevent from changing my equation, I have to add 64 to the right side as well. So we're not changing the equation, we're just writing it in a form that's more useful to us because now we have a perfect square trinomial on the left side. Technically, at this point, I could subtract 64 from both sides and then I've got what I started with, okay? So um, I'm going to factor the left side. We've got a minus 8 squared is the left side, and then I'm going to add those constants on the right side, so that's uh, 117. And here's where I'm going to solve by taking square roots. a minus 8 is squared, so I'm going to take the square root of both sides because that's the opposite of squaring something. So the square root and squared cancel. We just have a minus 8 left right there. Now, it would be great if 117 was a perfect square. It is not, and I really don't think it's divisible by a perfect square, but we should probably check. Um, and don't forget, if you take a square root, you got to put the plus and minus. Uh, so let's see here. Let's just try like 4. That doesn't work. 9. Oh, there it is. Nine. Okay, so the square root of nine is three. Thirteen is not a perfect square, so it's just under the square root. Okay, last step. The purpose of this is we're solving for the variable. So we need to get a by itself. Right now we're subtracting eight. So we are going to add 8 to both sides. Now we can't change anything about that square root by adding. So that 8 just goes right in front of the plus or minus 3 square roots of 13. And again, this is an equation. Absolutely no reason not to check it. So 8 plus 3 square roots of 13. Let's store that as x, plug it into the original, x squared minus 16x minus 53, that should give us 0, and it does. So we're good, okay? And you can see that approximately the answer is 18.82, okay? If you were curious, one of the answers. I didn't do the negative, but if the positive one works, then the negative one's going to work. Um, or the subtraction, it may not necessarily be negative. Okay, let's do another one before I turn you loose. Let's look at 18. Okay, we've got to move the constant to the other side. There's already a constant there, but that's okay. So we're going to add the 94 to move it over. K squared minus 18K, leave our space. Negative 9 plus 94 is 85. Thank you. Now we're going to complete the square on the left side. 18 divided by 2 is 9. 9 squared is 81. Add that to both sides. That's where most people mess up. They forget to add it to the other side. <clears throat> Factor k minus 9 squared is equal to 166. Time to take the square root to get rid of that squared. So k minus 9 is equal to plus or minus. Let's see if we can simplify 166. We can? Oh, we can't. Okay, thank you. 
It is not evenly divisible by any of our perfect squares, so we'll just leave it. And then we've got to isolate. So we add 9 to both sides. So we get k is equal to 9 plus or minus the square root of 166. Now, I'm pretty confident in our arithmetic there, so I'm not going to worry about checking it. Okay. Um, one note, I wish I had thought about this when I was doing the examples here. When you get to the very end, if this had been k plus 9, okay, if this had been k plus 9, we'd have to subtract, so this would be a negative 9 plus or minus the square root. Okay. You have to subtract that term over, but it's a negative number plus or minus the square root. Okay? All right, so.